I'm Malcolm Lynch. Um, I come from the TV Islands and uh, footy's been a part of my life since I probably can kick a ball. Um, moved to Sydney, uh, finished my high school there at St Ignatius College and where I then got drafted in the AFL or the Western Bulldogs where I spent my three years in Melbourne. I still live in Melbourne now um, and I spend my time playing footy in the VFL and also working with the AFL. Uh, I do a lot of community uh, development stuff and working with kids in terms of uh, mentoring and doing a bit of leadership to teach them about uh, life skills um, at, at an early age. So um, yeah, now I'm going to Antarctica on this trip as part of the, uh, a youth leadership uh, expedition uh, on uh, climate change and sustainability. So um, yeah, there's a lot of things that are coming into my head right now before this trip, but I'm looking forward to uh, getting down there and experiencing Antarctica. Uh, one thing that's big in my culture that, you know, having, uh, I guess, traditional ownership, that's, that's a big thing uh, in my culture. And uh, being on ex this expedition and um, with the talks we've, we've been through in terms of preserving Antarctica, um, there's similarities in terms of that uh, with the community I live in. So we want to keep, um, you know, back home, our we want to keep our culture uh, and our family strong and by that we've got to look after our land. So, um, you know, Indigenous people are, are one with the land and um, being on this expedition I can definitely share similar stories with the people that have a relationship with this land. In terms of climate change, that was difficult for me. Uh, you know, being, having not the uh, experience as some of the other people on the expedition being new to you know climate change and awareness, um, not having that experience, but you know I gained a lot in terms of listening to different people's uh, I guess interests or aspects of um, climate change that they wanted to have their input on, and just listening to them that gave me a greater idea, and it sort of makes me realise like you know there's a lot of people out there that don't know about it, so um, yeah I'm hoping to get back and maybe doing a bit myself. Basically, we ha we need to look after our land for our children. If if we don't, if we don't look after our land, then no one will. So we can't wait for anyone to um, do something for us. We've got to do it ourselves. So and this is a perfect opportunity to do it. So and within that, I guess opportunities don't come uh, don't come that often. So it's important that we take it now.